I think there was a clear lack of preparation and execution here I on think Wall Street. I think actually it's the opposite. I think he had too much preparation. Maybe. Every now and again, a debate is so clear, much like the Trump-Biden debate a couple months back. It's so clear who won and who lost that they can't really lie about it because it would just be like kicking you in the nuts. And as a general rule, people don't like being kicked in the nuts. Everyone here nodded on that. Uh, so here's a little compilation of some of the post-game coverage where uh, they could not kick you directly in the nuts. There is no doubt in my mind, however uh, uh, Governor Walz uh, did in terms of sincerity, uh, that Vance won this debate. Does Governor Walz have a problem with the truth? No. And they were talking. At one point, Vance wanted to correct something about how Haitians got into this country. And he was right. And the moderators wouldn't let him correct it. It's very interesting. Uh, but at the beginning, the two issues driving the campaign right now are Harris has a big deficit on the economy. Harris has a big deficit on immigration. And Republicans were happy tonight and Democrats a little bit nervous that on those two issues, Vance carried it. Uh, J.D. Vance is uh, much more uh, experienced at this, at public speaking, at defending himself, at pivoting. It's the audacity. I, 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 I agree with you that we're in year nine. And no one knows how to cover the audacity. Mm -hmm. The audacity is, is, is that someone should have said, stop it, stop, stop. <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? And they should have, they should have dropped that F-bomb, right? I mean, they should have just, we, this is the debate. This may be the only chance people have to see the difference. I think there was a clear lack of preparation and execution here I on think Walsh's he, part. I think actually it's the opposite. I think he had too much preparation. Maybe. Yeah. He had so many lines that he was clearly trying to say yeah. that he didn't listen and said when, when uh, J.D. Vance said one of the many, many things he um, really hit Kamala Harris on, not Tim Walls, but Kamala Harris, he didn't respond because he clearly had things in his mind. Okay, so you could very clearly see just in that quick compilation that the media really couldn't lie that much about it. I'm not exactly sure what Nicole Wallace was saying there on MSNBC. We'll have more on them in just a second. But even there, right at the end with Lindsey Davis and Dana Batch, he, he underprepared. No, he overprepared. Like they were just trying to figure out how can we spin this so that it wasn't so bad for Walls, but it was.